Glass and clocks pull together a whole series of themes about the precision control of everyday life and of technical practices that make the commodities of everyday life possible. What clockwork hinges on is pieces of accurate precision engineering, the cutting of gears, the development of pendulums and springs, all of which get launched in the 17th and 18th centuries. And that new set of clock technologies result in a revolution in the division and management of time and in the domestication of precision and of vigilance because these are devices that are brought into very large numbers of European homes. One can say rather similar things about glassware because it's not merely that glassware had opened a window on the world and in two directions by allowing interiors to be illuminated and therefore places where work could continue longer and also allowing Euro Europeans to see the smaller and the more distant. It's that what the fine glassware, the flint and crown glasses of the 17th and 18th century allowed was extremely precise manipulation of the smallest particles of matter that their tools could handle. So that lens grinding is both an opportunity for and a symbol of this remarkable degree of constant vigilance which European artisans and craftsmen were now exercising over relatively mundane materials. So both in the realm of clockwork and in the realm of glassware, what we see is intense control over small pieces of matter. And that intense control over small pieces of matter gave you Europeans long-range control through navigation, through chemistry, through the production of new substances over vast territories of the world. So to master the small gave you power over the great.